guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and today, if you couldn't tell by the title, I filmed a full face of makeup using amazing products under $5. Um, this is the look that I came up with. I think it's really pretty and it looks like an everyday look or it could be a look that you wear out. Anything that you guys prefer. Obviously, makeup is universal. You could do whatever you want with it. But yeah, this is the look that I came up with. I used all products under $5. I hope this video inspires you and it helps you guys learn the products that would work best for you. Um, if you have any suggestions of other products that I didn't mention in this video, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to learn more. So if you like these kind of videos and you like me, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell just so you get notified every single time I upload. I'm actually doing Vlogmas right now, so I'm filming videos and posting videos every single day. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see how I got this makeup look using all products under $5, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing is obviously gonna be primer, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and it looks like this, and it's cruelty free, you know, my favorite. So I'm just going to put this all over the face. Now I'm gonna put on my green concealer, and I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. So it looks like this, and it's in a little pot, super nice, so it works really good, and it lasts a very long time. So I'm just gonna put this on with my, with this Morphe brush, it's the E32, and it's just like a flat concealer brush. I should have cleaned my brushes before I started this um, video, but I didn't, so we're just gonna have to work with it, just ignore them, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm putting, um, this concealer all over my problem areas, my um, breakouts, anything like that, just so I can have something that covers them up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just dot it on there and then I don't blend it in or anything. That's what, it goes under my foundation, so it works pretty good for me that way. Okay, so since I did my concealer, I'm gonna do my foundation and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Fond de Tint. I don't think I have to say that. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but this is in the shade Shell Ivory, so it looks like this. But the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is the applicator. Like, it's plastic. But honestly, you're getting it for super cheap, so I guess that's why it's plastic. But just a disclaimer, the applicator is plastic. Super weird, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my Morphe M439. Okay, so now that we are done with foundation, I'm gonna jump into the concealer, and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is the lightest shade, and it was $4.87. I'm not really sure why the concealer is more expensive than the foundation. It's usually the other way around, I thought. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. People are saying that this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, um, and I've watched about a bunch of videos, and I mean, for the most part it is. The applicator is obviously, um, a lot smaller because the Tarte Shape Tape is huge, but um, they say it wears the same. Um, obviously the shade ranges are different, and the only thing that's really big difference is the applicator. And like I said, I use my, um, my concealer as my eyeshadow base just because I don't see the need in the extra step. So yeah, okay, since we did that, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This was $4.99, so that's really good. So you get a highlight and you get a contour um, for $4.99. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. I've been using this for a while. Obviously this is a new one, but I've been using this for a while and I love it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Uh, small tapered brush and I'm going to dip it into the uh, highlighting powder and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid just to set my um, concealer, and I'm gonna put it under my eyelid as well to set my under eye. It makes your eye, under eye so smooth, I love it. And don't mind my eyebrows, I know I need to get them done, just don't look at them. I already told you guys in one of my vlogs, I was like, I have to get them done all the time, if I don't, then they turn crazy. So yeah, just, just try not to pay attention to them if you can, I mean, it might, it might be a struggle, but just try. <laughs> So to set my whole face, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and I love this stuff. This is my absolute favorite, and it works so good. And 
like I've said before, I have very oily skin, so I need to have matte products on my skin to hold back my natural oils because if not, woo, it could be really bad. <laughs> All right, so for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade 022 Sun Bronze, and it just looks like this, super pretty. It's in the same kind of packaging as the powder, but obviously it's just a bronzer, and it has a cute little sun on it. Do you guys see it? Super cute. Again, this is in the shade Sun Bronzed. I'm just gonna swirl my brush inside of it, tap off the excess, because I don't want a lot, and then I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks. So after bronzer, I'm going to put on my blush, and the blush I'm using is this Essence Satin Touch Blush, and this is in the shade 20 Satin Love, and it looks like this. It's so pretty. Look at that. Look how pigmented this is. Super pretty. And uh, same on this side. So pretty. And then I'm going to take, this is what I do. I take my um, L'Oreal sponge, and I just blend it in because I don't, I mean, I like blush. It's really pretty, but like I don't want to be too pink. Um, I'd rather be more bronze. So I just blend it in a little with my bronzer just because I don't want to be too pink, like I just said. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Super, super, super pretty. I love it. So then the next thing I'm going to do is highlight. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm sure you guys have heard a whole bunch about this, but a long time ago. But it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. It's like a rose goldy looking shade. It's so pretty. I love it. And it looks so pretty on the skin. So I know this is really big, but I don't have another highlighting brush. <laughs> and I should get one because I know that there's others out there. I've heard about them. I just, I'm lazy, I guess you could say. But this is the Morphe E5. And look, I know it's huge. I know it is huge. I do not put this much highlight on my face. <laughs> But I'll show you guys what I do. Um, I just tap it in a little on the side, just like this, and then I just put it on the high points of my cheeks. Look at that highlight. Wow, so pretty. And then I'm gonna do it on this side. So pretty. And I put it a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then I do it a little on my temples, not too much, because I don't, I don't know, I don't like to be super glowy. Um, but yeah, look at that. That is so beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And um, <laughs> I've told you guys plenty of times before, I do not love my eyebrows. I try not to bring as much attention to them as some other people, just because they're already super dark. My hair is super blonde. I cannot get rid of this stupid glare I'm sorry so I use a lighter shade than I should for my eyebrows like usually I'd probably use like dark brown or something to fill them in but like I don't really need to fill them this is natural I don't have anything in my um, eyebrows at all right now you can't tell they need to be tamed <laughs> like they are like yes they're full yes they're dark but they are crazy so I use the ColourPop brow boss and I got this in an ipsy but I know that the ColourPop um eye pencils and stuff like that are super good anyways so I'm using this and it has um, the actual brow pencil and it has a spoolie on the other side so that's awesome this is in the shade light brown um, like I said I don't try to use the darker ones because I don't want my eyebrows to be darker than they are you can order it online and this eyebrow pencil was five dollars um, and yeah, I love ColourPop. It's super, super affordable, super, super pretty stuff, super cheap. Um, definitely worth it. Um, so with your eyebrow pencil, you're gonna need some eyebrow gel. And people spend a whole bunch of money on eyebrow gel. Like they use the Anastasia one or the Benefit one or anything like that. And I mean, that's good if it works for you, whatever. But like I said, I don't pay that much attention to my brows because I don't want to. <laughs> What's the point in spending money if you already have dark eyebrows anyways? So I use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. And obviously I don't use it for my lashes, I just use it for my eyebrows. And it works really good. My favorite is the Rimmel one, the Clear Brow Gel from Rimmel. And it's, I think it's $2.99. This is $2.99 as well, but everywhere I go it's sold out. I don't know, I just don't think that there's a point in spending 
20 something dollars on some eyebrow gel when cheaper brands like Essence or Rimmel make just as good as products for a cheaper price. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyeshadow. And this is a quad from Maybelline. And this was, let's see, I have everything written down over here. <laughs> This was $4.99. This is the Chai Latte Quad from Maybelline. $4.99, super cheap, super affordable. It came with the little brushes, but I don't need those. The base is right here. You probably can't see it, I'm too pale. But these are the colors, super, super pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my Morphe M412, and this is just a blending brush, and I'm going to stick it in that crease shade, so this lighter brown right here. I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna tap off the excess, because I don't want too much. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Should I zoom you guys in? I think I should. Let's get even more close and personal, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Alrighty. So then I'm going to take this liner shade, this darker shade right here. And I'm going to take my Morphe M433, and it's dirty, I know, don't judge me, I'm sorry, I should have washed them, I'm sorry. When you're wanting to dip into a new eyeshadow, especially a darker one, you're going to want to go in on it on the side of the brush instead of like dipping in like this. That way it doesn't get all over your eye, instead it just gets on the parts that you want. You have more control if you do it that way. I learned that from Brie, so Brie if you're watching, I love you. I'm going to link her channel down below so you guys can go and check her out. Um, she is so talented, she is amazing, and she's such a humble person, she's so sweet. Go subscribe to her, you won't be disappointed. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I'm going to stick my brush in here on its side, and I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm just going to work in my outer V. And I'm going to go back in with that M412 and I'm just going to use whatever's left on this brush and blend it all in. So now that I did that, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And this is a eyelash curler from e.l.f. And it was $2 at Target. If you get it at like Walmart, I think it's like a dollar. I don't know. Another thing that I don't see the point in spending $20 on. But yeah, I just curled my eyelashes. So the mascara I'm going to use is this Essence Rockin' Doll Crazy XXXL Volume Mascara. And this is $4.99 at Ulta. Love this stuff. Super cool, super pretty. I love the packaging. So this side is longer and then this side is shorter. I don't know why. Super cool. I think that's kind of adds dimension. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this on. But again, this mascara is super good, and it's $4.99 at Ulta. It makes your eyelashes look super full. I love it, so pretty. So I'm gonna use a lip liner and a lip gloss, and this is the color Skimpy from ColourPop. And I'm gonna line my lips and fill them in, because that's just what I do. Um, I use this every day every single day with any of my lip colors mostly except for if I'm using like a really peachy color but my darker colors or my just nudes I use this it's really pretty and it's a perfect base you don't even feel that it's on I love the ColourPop lip pencils so then the gloss that I'm gonna use is this NYX butter gloss and this is in the color fortune cookie it's so pretty I love these these are so nice they're $4.99 they work amazing. They don't stick on your lips. Like they don't feel sticky and they last for a very long time. They're super comfortable. I definitely recommend them. Can you guys see that? I love it. It's so pretty and it's super glossy and not sticky at all. You could wear fortune cookie without any lip liner. I like that as well, but since I kind of have a dramatic look, I kind of, just kind of, it's not like really dramatic, but since I kind of have a dramatic look, I thought I might as well kind of make the lips a little darker. So yeah, that's what we're working with. 
Okay guys, so that is everything that I have to show you for my full face of good products under $5. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Um, if you have any other suggestions of amazing products under $5, please let me know down in the comments. That way I can know and other people that watch my channel can know um, of other good products that you guys think are worth the money. I really appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. Thank you so much. I have reached, I think it's 108 subscribers now. I am so, so, so thankful for you guys. Thank you for all of the love and support that you guys give me and I can't wait to see how this channel grows. Again, if you like this channel and you like me, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.